All right, our next team is comprised of 11th graders. I believe they're all still in the 11th grade. And it's called LIGHT, L-I-G-H-T. I'm going to let them explain their project. They are all representing the Jericho High School. Welcome team number four with LIGHT. Make sure you say your name real quickly and then we'll be Hi, my name is April and we are from Jericho High School. Hi, my name is Anirudh Chandrasekhar. And my name is Anuja Shah. And our project is called Light Luciferase Induced Heat Generative, Generative Heat Independent Technology. Um, okay. So, the pressing issues today in uh, the world are first, energy conservation. Um, next, climate change, and three, poverty rates. So today, common light sources are considered inefficient because they use up a lot of energy and release high amounts of heat energy into the environment, um, thus leading to increased waste buildup. Um, so today we have two light bulbs, which is the incandescent and the fluorescent light bulbs. In the incandescent light bulbs, um, the wire becomes hot enough to glow when electrical current passes through it. However, this is very inefficient since um, most of the energy is used as heat and not um, into visible light. In the fluorescent light bulb, fluorescent light bulbs contain both argon and mercury gas, and they function when electrical currents pass through this gas, and the gas then collects and absorbs this light and emits it as UV light. This UV light is then um, hits a phosphor-coated tube, allowing visible light to be seen. However, in fluorescent lighting, only 85% of this energy is used into visible light, meaning that 15% of this energy is wasted. And um, in addition, these fluorescent light bulbs have mercury components, so if they break, they will pose a major health risk. Oh, okay. So another pressing issue is climate change. So present day light bulbs consist of incandescent as well as fluorescent light bulbs. And uh, the problem with these light bulbs, as I said before, is that they release heat energy into the environment. And um, this really heat energy cannot be reconverted into reusable energy. So the released heat is built up in the atmosphere and which leads to increasing global temperatures and then um, to the uh, heat retention of carbon dioxide and then I said uh, before the increase of temperatures and eventually to the melting of polar ice caps and um, all detrimental effects. So, the third pressing issue is poverty rates. Now, um, households in America today use up let's say about a hundred dollars a month for el their electricity bills. So each year it would be about um, twelve hundred and of those uh, light bills would be about a thousand. So if we save a thousand dollars per household each year, if we multiply that by the amount of households in a city, let's say um, another thousand, we would be saving a million dollars per year. So we would greatly be um, helping the um, economic um, society today. So, um, in, in addition, yeah. since we are currently in an economic depression, we have to do all we can in order to save money. As you can see here, the unemployment rate is constantly increasing in 2011. So by using our technology, we would save more energy and therefore um, would help this depression as well. Yeah. So, solution. What our project well, is, I'm... Um, you can say so um, our solution to this problem is luciferase induced generative heat independent technology with, called light um, with the reaction. Um, one, more. one more. Yeah, OK. okay. Where luciferase is, um, is a catalyst that oxidizes yeah. luciferin into oxyluciferin photons. This would release um, organic light which would not release any heat energy. Therefore, the heat energy that's, um, that would be released using incandescent or fluorescent, fluorescent light bulbs would not be um, wasted. Uh, so in our model here, we have encrusted pores which allow the entrance of oxygen. 
And this oxygen is needed for the reaction to occur. So when basically when we turn on the lights, these pores would open and oxygen would be able to go in and help the initiate this reaction. And, and this would also allow the product oxaluciferin, which is harmless, to escape from the pores as well. And when we turn off the light, these pores would close, so oxygen would not be allowed in these pores in order for the reaction to occur. Secondly, on the outside, the casing with, uh, surrounding the light bulb is consisted of neodymium glass, which is a very, um, th um, very um, malleable yet sh strong glass that is not used today in present day light bulbs, but is more efficient and more stronger. And uh, if, if used in the future will be, will be beneficial. So overall, our technology light is, uh, will provide a more cost efficient and environmentally friendly alternative light source in the form of said light bulb. So that's basically our project and we would like to thank Toshiba and our teachers and everyone else there who supports us. Thank you guys. Give them a round of applause. Thank you both, thank all three of you so much. Great presentation, it was an honor to see it.